Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. No, you've obviously been performed pretty well here at Homestead um, in contention for the last four races. What makes it Homestead a very good track for you with your racing style? Is it running the high groove or conserving tires? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, so we came here, this might be kind of a longer story, but we came here in 2019 with Dave Ellens and he came down here in 2017 and 2018 with William Byron and Tyler Reddick and they did their rookie test here. And we also did a two day rookie test here in 2019 when I drove for Dave my first year at Junior Better Sports, first year in Xfinity. And came down here, ran two laps on the bottom and 398 on the top and we brought you know three right sides three tails uh, rebuilt the car and just learned how to get that feel right up against the wall uh, my earliest memory at homestead was uh 2016 in the xfinity race kyle larson in the enios 42 car uh, it was like a red car he was or maybe it's 2017 uh he was really good running the fence and watching it on the spotter stand, watching him get into turn one, taking notes of how he was able to do it, coming here and testing, learning, all that stuff. Um, you know, I give a lot of credit to Dave Ellens and his mindset on you know getting around this place. Obviously with the championship race here in the past, that was a big priority to come down here and test. and. Um, that's given me confidence on these other mile and a half, so Las Vegas, Fontana, uh, Kansas, Darlington, uh, places where you have to run right up there against the wall sometimes with late in a race. And I love this track, worn out. Uh, you definitely burn the tires off. And for me personally, it's not, I don't worry about tire wear at all. Um, I just worry about going fast as I can and keeping the pace on the short run for the first 15 or 20 laps. Till I can get to the wall and then once I get to the, the wall I know they're they're pretty much fucked you know um, so just uh, a lot of hard work's gone into it a lot of simulator time with Josh Wise and Kyle Larson Kyle Larson's been a big help uh, to learning the wall I remember going to uh, is after Kansas in 2019 we went to the, the GM simulator I ran handful of laps, probably 50 or 60, then Kyle got in and, and went faster than me. And then I got in and, and studied his data and went faster than him. So um, in the simulator that is, so it's kind of a little different, but that just has given me the confidence throughout the years to, to be able to run the wall. And uh, this is, in my opinion, the greatest racetrack in motorsports. And uh, there's nothing like running a perfect lap, skimming the fence, scraping the decals off of it, not even touching the body, just the decals. And, um, you know, going through the corner, it's, it's like making a, a swish in basketball or a hole in one in golf or whatever it may be. It's just such a satisfying moment and takes so much accuracy, so much focus, so much precision to be able to do that lap in and lap out. And, uh, you know, just uh, extremely grateful, grateful for the opportunity. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.